Hello YouTube, this is just a quick tutorial on how to mod uh, weapons, how to change the how, how to, to change the way they look like. So what I'm trying to do here is just to create another shape of this uh, weapon, which is the great sword. Now the objective is to have it um, looking something like this. No, not this. This one. So you can see here that parts of the sword are in black and part are, parts are in white. Now this is not the best design, but what I'm trying to say is this part interacts with the light that's coming from this upper side and since that there's no light on the bottom side, we see uh, black corners. So what I did was simply edit a photo. I just drew this. I actually drew this using my mouse. And um, once once I was done, I just saved uh, the file as a PNG, and I used uh, NVIDIA Texture Tools. This is a free tool. You can you can have a plugin for your Photoshop, but I don't use Photoshop. I use Affinity Photo. So yeah, I don't I don't use Photoshop. So what I'm trying to say is, you click open. Okay, you click open, and you open the file that you need to modify. Okay, and you save it. You save it as a PNG. Now, you just have to click on the file name, and then you write PNG, and that's it. Now, if you're wondering where you get the files, where that's that's very easy. You go to, uh, you search for a tool named UXM, but be careful because these days we have two tools. One of them only works for Elden Ring and gives an error for Dark Souls 3, and uh, the other works for Dark Souls 3. And bear, bear in mind that I'm explaining this for Dark Souls 3, but the same concept applies for Elden Ring and I've already done a mod uh, showing this. So uh, once you once you open UXM you select the EXE file and then you unpack it. Uh, once it, it's going to take some time, maybe half an hour or something. Once it's done you click patch. Now what this is going to do if you don't know uh, which is it simply allows the game to launch the unpacked files. Now the game files are all out, are all packed. You can see these files. These files are where the game files are uh, packed in. So we are unpacking these files and you get a bunch of folders that you can work with. So you go to one of the folders and you check for one of the items that you need to change. Uh, you can use Yabber for that. Like for example I can look for uh, let's say hmm, let's go to equip param weapon and this takes me to the weapons and let's look for this Y-hander we are going to look for a model and this is the equipment model um, if you're looking for clothes you can as well let's say ringed yeah ring knighthood so I'm going to look for a model okay and I have and I have the model ID and I can mod that one from here so I can look for 6350 I could just type here 6350 and hit search and all of these come up. Um, if you don't know what these are, uh, part of them are related to the head, the body, the head, the body, the arms, and the leg. Okay, and you can see that we have uh, two files here. Let me just do one thing real quick. So, um, one moment. I'm trying to sort them. So, whenever you see uh, underscore L here, it means that uh, this is this is what you see when somebody else wears the armor so so you don't need to modify this one and by the way this is always a lower resolution than the original one because the game uh, tries to save resources using this method and this goes for Elden Ring as well okay so you right click one of these the, the one that you want to modify or you can right click all of them and use Yammer again if you don't have that option you download Yammer download one point, uh, Yabber 1.3.1 1 and then you open this you click R enter and that's it okay so back to the subject um, so whenever you unpack whenever you unpack the uh, the folder that you have or the, the file that you have you're going to have these folders and inside these folders you can have you will have the TPF file this one contains the textures you open the file and then you modify your own now, now let me show you what I mean um, 
what I did sorry let, let me show let me show you what I did here actually what I did here was to take the same uh, texture here that I applied Wait one moment so I took this and I copied it over here and what I did I changed the colors to look uh, a bit red a bit yellow and a bit blue so the, the I'm trying to mix red with blue to get purple and whenever you have purple you have shininess um, that's that's how it works and yeah so that's that's what I did the rest of the image was already there but since I added an element I thought to add um, the texture for it or the texture normal for it and it's uh, there are some programs that do this but they don't really act efficiently because these lines you can see that I have a line here it looks like a line but the programs that do this don't make it a line and, and I'm going to show you in a bit let's say that I want to create a normal map from this one some people will tell you to, to go here oh sorry not this one here and to go to normal map tangent space and then you go I believe here you go to the scale and you increase the scale look at this this is how it goes it's going to look like now yeah I got lucky a bit because I have lines but you can see the rest of the picture and how it looks like um, it's just dots and it's unclear so it's 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 kind of better to understand how to draw this one and if you need a guide just look for go look in Google for normal map uh, color coding you can read about it there are some tools there I haven't tested many but the important concept is that part of it is going to be purple part of it is going to be blue and each one represents a different thing so yeah this is a I've just found a picture that tries to explain how this works so you have the uh, red red green and blue um, channels and each one represents one thing and you can see that the original picture was just a, a line or it was just a flat plane it was just a flat surface but when you add these colors the program or the game in the, for, uh, for this instance under, understands that this is not um, this is not a flat surface okay so once you once you're done with this you could just go back right click hit yabber and then go back again right click and hit yabber and the most beautiful thing about this is that you don't have to close the game uh, you can keep the game open and you could just remove the weapon and equip it again and the changes will be applied but remember you need to uh, pack this yabber file twice okay if you don't do that this is not gonna work all right and uh, I'm thinking about showing you let me show you what I did here to get this normal map it was just something basic that I did in case you're having some troubles with the normal map okay all right so the the normal map in my case is just the left texture and then the right texture and then something between them uh, which is this part when I was drawing this uh, part I missed it like when I copied it it was missing something was wrong so I had to draw it again anyways so what I did there was to put a glow see how it looks like I added a glow and I added a 3d um, nothing here I just kept everything as uh, default I added a glow with a small radius I believe that yeah with a small radius a bit of intensity and then I've added a bevel makes uh, makes the shape a little bit white and then I added a gradient I needed this part to be purple and going down we have the yellow uh, yellow color and that's it so I just copied the uh, the thing from one picture to another and be careful because some pictures some pictures have uh, smaller resolutions than others so this is 256 by 1024 and this is 256 by 20, 1024 as well but this is not so be careful what you can do by the way is you can increase the resolution now let's say I want this oh, sorry not this one 5 512 by 2048 I can do this now if you can 
if you can change this into a clear image, there are some ways to do that, by the way. Um, one of them is adding a, uh, what was it called? It was here. Mm. I think it was here. Uh, there was a, there was an effect that you add that makes your picture cleaner or makes the it adds it basically adds sharpness there are some tutorials on how to do that in YouTube okay sorry about that I found it it's called the high pass um, filter and I'm, I'm, this is not going to affect the whole image but you can see here this is how it looks like now you might think that this is corrupting the image you just go to overlay or you can select soft color some people select soft color soft light or overlay they both do the same thing and uh, that's it see now you can see the rest you can see how this looks like and you can see how this looks like the the one on the top is blurry that's that's because the high pass filter is only applied to this portion and whenever you're done you can save the file and you can import it using the texture tool and whenever you're done it's going to be imported into the game with upscaled textures so so yeah this is how you upscale the textures in the game it's a very simple process and nowadays technology does a lot of the work for you all right I think uh, I think that's it for today's tutorial I hope you have a good day and I hope that this was enough for an explanation uh, one last thing I'm using mod engine here so when I'm using mod engine um, I'm specifying to mod engine that I'm using the folder mod so I have to put my um, my mod in this folder mod now I ha it's it's not a necessary it's, it's not a necessity but I can remove this and put it in the parts folder that works too but if the file is in the mod folder and in the parts folder as well let me show you what I mean so I have I have them go back I just duplicated what I was opening so I have here six uh, zero zero six zero five and here I have zero six zero five as well I have the same folder twice now what the game is going to do is read from this folder if there's something that's repeated uh, it's going to read from this folder because this is what mod engine do uh, what much end engine does and this works for Elden Ring as well everything everything that I said basically works for for Elden Ring there's one thing to notice in Elden Ring which is that in Elden Ring the game likes yellow things just like this picture actually ignore this uh, you, you can see that the normal maps are a bit yellowish so yeah that's that's the only thing that's different but the same concepts apply everything is almost the same and uh, yeah I think that's it for today thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video